experienced generalized violence at the hands of maurading thugs. The organism began in the city center, notably the Seca Market, and spread to the suburbs, uh, as well as along major highways that lead into the city. A similar incidence of senseless lawlessness occurred in Mukono and Lukaya town, uh, where they were again burning, trying to block the, the highway. Hooligans block, blocked roads and highways with burning tires and old vehicles. Others used big logs and other obstacles to interfere with the flow of traffic. In fact, in, in, in Kawempo, Bombo Road or Guru Road, uh, I think at Kagoma, they, 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 they even brought, brought a mound of, of sand, obviously with the, with the tipper, uh, to block the road. The violence and lawlessness was, was preceded, as the minister has uh, explained, by inflammatory and sectarian broadcast from the CBS radio station, uh, where the radio station systematically incited the listeners to cause chaos and destruction whenever, wherever they could. Other inciters used different platforms to mobilize and instigate riots and violence. Criminal mobs engaged in acts of theft, uh, for instance, stopping buses and, and removing passengers and, 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 and stealing from them. Uh, others were, were beaten if they did not uh, do what the, those thugs wanted, as well as, of course, destruction of property. In the ensuing chaos, as the minister has pointed out, uh, four persons died, uh, and uh, the circumstances uh, we are looking, we, we are still getting details. Property destroyed. Here, I want to state because there was some misinformation. There is no police officer who was killed. There was one who, who was injured in there. He was injured. Property destroyed or damaged, struck, looted, included the police police post and. Uh, should correct also Natete police station was attacked by a huge huge mob and they put the bandit. I'm sure you have been there. Police kiosks like the one at uh, Minibata, shops, vehicles, a paint factory at Kawempe was set on fire. Uh, and because of the traffic, fire brigade late to put off the fire. Uh, I'm not I've not been there to find out how, how much of it was was saved. Buses and private motorists, as I indicated, were, were stopped at legal roadblocks erected on roads and highways. And property, uh, again, I mentioned it. Uh, people were humiliated, especially women. Uh, we are in the process of compiling a comprehensive damage report, which soon we shall avail to the public. Uh, we have made several arrests, and we are still continuing to make more where we have established strong evidence implicating individuals in this evil criminality. We call upon the public to assist the CID to identify and bring to book all the perpetrators, inciters, organizers, and planners of these heinous acts, uh, which really is a mark of the genocidal forces that we saw in Rwanda. Uh, in spite of the suddenness and the generalized violence, the situation was swiftly brought uh, under control, mm -hmm. as the minister explained, by the police. The, 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 the violence was very, very sudden and spread. Uh, so we tried our best uh, with the assistance of uh, particularly the military police and the PGB uh, and now the other elements of security. And uh, by, by actually by four, around four o'clock we had had, uh, within the city, the business district, there was no mercy, apart from uh, smoke coming from burning, burning tires. Uh, the, 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 those thugs had moved into the suburbs and we followed them. Uh, we would like to assure members of the public that Uganda police uh, will ensure that this lawlessness comes to an end and the city and, the, and Uganda doesn't have to suffer this uh, anymore. <coughs> uh, I would like to reiterate that uh, uh, 
uh, we are committed as the constitution mandates us uh, to discharge our, uh, to, to, to protect the lives and property of all Ugandans uh, as well as those living obviously in Uganda. Okay, situations like this happen and we may not completely do it, but we try we, we, whatever is humanly possible. I uh, want to caution any person or element who are still bent on causing chaos and, and disrupting the peace of the country. Uh, that the police, with other security forces, in accordance with the law, will deal with, the, with them decisively and resolutely. Uh, in light of the, of the events that uh, I have explained, as well as, the, as well as what had happened in Kayunga, in the past in, 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 in the past few days and to, to prevent commission of further criminal acts as well as protecting lives and property the uganda police in execution of its responsibility as stipulated by article 212 of the constitution has decided that it is unwise and a security risk for his highness the kabaka of uganda to visit kayunga district accordingly the Kabaka's visit to Kayung on Saturday, the 12th of September 2009, shall not be allowed to proceed as scheduled, and we have informed them as much. We would like to express our gratitude to the members of, of the public who cooperated with the police and gave us timely and accurate information, which enabled us to successfully contain the situation. And uh, I also want to tell the, to add on this <coughs> statement that uh, in spite of the incidents that uh, here and there, since morning, uh, I want to assure you that we are on top of the situation and people should not be alarmed. And the, the, the situation is generally is improving uh, every, every minute. I thank you.